What is up everybody and welcome to another tech review. Today we're taking a look at the Rollcap Vulcan 122 ammo, which is actually one of the most interesting gaming keyboards that came out last year. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to provide this review for you guys because Turtle Beach did send me the product, but I was on the move and my product was still in California. I actually had it to get shipped over here to Texas to provide you guys a review. And when I got it, I got sick guys, so I wasn't able to provide the review for you guys. But now I have been able to test the product and give you guys my final verdict. If you guys should definitely consider picking up this keyboard, if you should skip it, or if you should maybe wait for a discount. I'm gonna hope to answer every single question that you might have about the keyboard. So if you find these videos helpful and informative, do hit a like, it does help us out with the algorithm. But without further ado, let's talk about the Vulcan 122. Now, one thing I always start my videos for is the aesthetics and the way the actual keyboard it looks. Not only that, but also the ergonomics. Guys, this keyboard has got to be one of the sexiest keyboards I have seen currently right now. It seems like the majority of companies when they make keyboards, yes, they put the RGB and it's just a big square. This guys looks like a keyboard that was meant for the future. It looks like that type of keyboard that you always envy because you know, like if you guys own Apple products, Apple products are nice, but people who own window products just have like regular looking keyboards, regular looking mouses. And then you look at Apple and you're like, man, that's a sexy keyboard, man, that's a sexy mouse. Now it's time for me to tell you guys, we actually have a sexy keyboard this time around. Not too many RGBs, not too many things happening in the keyboard, but aesthetically the keyboard looks amazing. If you don't have an Apple product and you wanna have a keyboard that matches that build quality and has a nice, beautiful aesthetic look, this is definitely the one you want to pick up. In addition to that, guys, when this keyboard shines, it's actually when you turn on those RGBs because the keypad seemed to look like if they were actually floating. It looks just amazing. I know you guys are probably wondering, laser eye, right, down. It's just a keyboard. Guys, it just might be a keyboard for you guys, but for me, that actually has reviewed a ton of keyboards and they all come with that square look and they all look the same. It's getting a keyboard that looks a little bit different actually has me a little bit happy. Another thing I love that they did with this particular keyboard, and you might not notice it unless you actually pay very close attention to, is the actual spacing they provided for each individual key. You'll notice if you look at your keyboard right now, it's gonna see that almost everything fits a little bit tight. I like the fact that they provided enough spacing on the keys to give it that nice floaty look that makes it stand out and feel different from any other keyboard. Now, one cool thing I also like about the keycaps is that they also feature a dish curve design that is quite comfortable to type on. It doesn't feel like that, you know, like you're diving in straight into the key, but it gives you enough sturdability to provide you with nice sturdiness and avoid that wobbly effect that you get on certain keyboards. Now, one thing I always love about keyboards, guys, is when they actually give you the option to provide you with some media buttons because there are certain keyboards that don't provide you with the media buttons. I'm like, come on now, we live in 2022. It's about time you give every keyboard some media buttons because you always want to be in the Spotify, listen to some sort of music, and you always want to make sure you have a nice media button and dial to actually mess around with that. So this keyboard does provide you with that. You can turn the volume up, turn it down. You can pause the music, you can skip forward. So I like the fact that it actually provides that for you guys. Now, one of the most important things about the keyboard, of course, it's its software. How good is the software? Now, the software performance actually comes with a thing called Rollcat Swarm. If you're not familiar with Rollcat, this is their main software they use for the majority of their products. And I got to tell you, the software is actually very robust. It gives you almost everything you want to look, and it has a nice gamer feel to it. It opens up the keyboard to a whole different array of customization you could put and it makes the keyboard work for you, not you work for the keyboard. The only thing I wish is that the software was a more better user friendly and it wasn't so clunky when you're moving through tabs. It feels a little bit slow and less responsive, but I feel like with a little software update, this should get corrected and get fixed. Now, of course, we couldn't talk about a keyboard without having to talk about the switches because you guys know it's all about the switches. This one comes with a Titan switch, which was developed specifically by Rocket. The Titan switch is a tactical switch that is designed for anybody who desires a swift and precise keystroke and don't want to sacrifice the desirable responsiveness and crisp mechanical feel. So the switch does provide that nice responsiveness without losing that mechanical keyboard aspect. Now the switch does come with a debounce switch. Now what exactly is a debounce switch? It pretty much reduces the time of responsiveness. It gives your key 
unleash a 20% faster than competitive keyboard response as you would with typing with another one. So that means it's going to be easier for you guys to get on the target, get that shout out or get that, uh, you know, armor swap a lot faster with the nice debounce switch. Now, do you play more than one game on your computer? If you do, and the answer is yes, which I'm pretty sure it is, the cool thing is this keyboard will allow you to have four different profiles because it comes with a ARM Cortex-MO processor with 512 kilobytes of memory that lets you store up to four different profiles. So you can switch back and forth from playing Call of Duty, playing Destiny, playing some Outriders, playing some New Dying Light, and program every single switch or every single key to fit that particular profile for that specific game. And overall in general guys, I think the keyboard is definitely one of the best looking keyboards out of any other keyboard we've seen currently right now on the market. Not only does it give you a nice mechanical feel of the keyboard, but it reduces that noise level of a mechanical keyboard. With the nice spacing of the keypads and the ability of that fast responsive switch, I gotta tell you this is definitely a keyboard you must pick up. I really don't see that many cons on this keyboard aside from the fact that some people might not be so inclined to its low profile That would probably be the only thing I could find wrong with the keyboard If you're looking for a very good fast reliable keyboard and you're into gaming whether it be competitive or just casual This is definitely a keyboard you must pick up if you guys are enjoying our tech reviews here on the channel Do the huge favor guys drop a comment drop a like but most importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn on all your notifications. If you have any questions regarding the keyboard itself, drop it in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next